Flux tool has been around for a while and actually gets uh, regular updates. So Stefan, what's new on the latest release? The latest release of Flux tool 465 is containing several improvements, especially focused on light shape algorithms. So the mathematic between, be, behind the driver, which is integrated into Flux tool. Next to that, we added support for the small form factor 22 watt product for the North American market. We did some updates on the DMX features in the driver. We changed the control options slightly, but the biggest improvements you can find in our light shape algorithms. So if I go to a profile tab, like you see over here, if I go to my edit window, what you see here is that you can no longer fill in the drive current yourself in a light shape application. In a light shape application, we start with the LED data, which I'm gonna fill in now. Next to the lumen values, which I fill in, we also have the drive current, which corresponds the lumen values. So if the data sheet says this LED is generating 1250 lumens, that's at a certain drive current. Okay. So that's the drive current we specify over here, for example, measured at 350 milliamps. And you can also fill in the forward voltage because the driver needs to understand the forward voltage of the LED because if it knows the forward voltage and the drive current, it can also calculate the power usage and gives you power feedback if the driver is connected. So imagine we're using a 36 volt COB module here. Yeah. We fill in 36 here. We're filling in 36 here. Um, I'm setting the system again the same as we used to have before. Constant lumen mode in 1200 lumens. 1250, the lowest of the two. I hit my generate light shape. And now you see that the drive currents are calculated by the application itself. So you don't have to do them yourself anymore. The light shape engine is now defining the drive current and it gives you a power feedback window if it's toggled on or off. In this case, if we toggle it on, it gives you that 12.6 watt um, power, power feedback based on the fact that there is a 20 watt dri driver connected. Let me change the values again to 2,700 and 6,500. Done. I can generate my light shape and this would work. If I would make a combination which is exceeding the maximum power of the connected driver, it will give us an error. Okay. So imagine I would say, hey, we go to maximize. I want to use that 2,750 lumens I would generate a light shape curve and then it will give you a warning, driver max power limit exceeded, because in this case, the application requires 20.3 watts and the driver can only supply 20. So we made an overpower scenario, which can uh, bring the driver into an error condition. And that's something we want to avoid. Of course, so this is a very powerful yeah, feedback. Yeah. System. Next to that, we changed the lumen values. The lumen values can now be filled into single digits instead of tens. That's a great option as well. That was a much asked feature because we normally had limited into tens of lumens. Yep. And now it's single digit. And it's the same for CCT range. Instead of the drop, the drop down box that we had before, you can now freely fill in the, the CCT values starting in a range out of my head it's 1667 as a minimum that's the lowest value all the way up to 7500 out of my head that is indeed the maximum so every cct between those two you can now use into flux tool and historically that was limited at a higher cct value because the algorithms were not correctly working on the low end CCT levels. That's the biggest change in Fluxful 6.5. There's more to come. Thank you, Stefan. Okay, thanks for watching.